Welcome, in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and I'm gonna show you some tricks you can use on this watch. First I'm gonna show you the button shortcuts. Basically we, by default you have the shortcut like um, double pressing it, this upper button basically brings you back to the previously used app. Um, pressing and holding the lower button opens the wallet and pressing this button by default opens the workout menu, but for me it's going to be changed, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't work like that anymore because I changed it, but by default when you press it, it opens the workout menu. And we can customize this, we can change how the buttons behave, or the shortcuts behave, basically. To do that, we need to open the settings, so let's open the menu, tap on the settings icon, and in the settings find the option called buttons and gestures. And here we have the quick button, this one, the orangish one, then we have the uh, home button, I believe this is going to, to be upper button. And then we have the back button, which is going to be uh, lower button. And we can customize how they behave. So the action basically uh, determines what is opened. For example, we have a voice recorder, but you can change it to Samsung Health, a stopwatch, torch and stuff like that. Select one of them. And uh, let's say I'm going to open the torch with the quick action button. And once you select the option, you will have the other thing, which is start action with, and we have short press and double press. Short press, basically, you press it once and it opens the, or performs the function, but double press, you will need to press it twice quickly. Okay, so now if I double press the button, it will open the torch. And if I press it again, it should turn it off. Oh no, it makes it brighter, I believe, yeah. Uh, how do I turn it off? Probably pressing the lower button, yeah. Um, okay, so that's the uh, quick button. Now let's go down and here we have the home button. And as you can see, we have double press and long press. Double press gets you to the most recent app, like I said before, and long press, long holding and pressing it, or pressing and holding it, my bad, uh, opens the Google Assistant and the Gemini. But we can change it, of course, we can tap on double press. And here you have a list of functions you can select from. So find something you like, for example, Let's say I want to open the weather by double pressing the button and long press is going to be power of menu. Okay, and now when I double press the upper button, it will open the weather up. And if I uh, press and hold it, it will open the power menu. And same for the back button. We can tap on short press and here we can uh, select go to previous screen or show recent apps and uh, that's about it for the back button. So you can't change the present hold for it. Okay, so next thing, besides the buttons, we have gestures and we can basically uh, enable them by tapping on the switch here. And you have double pinch, shake and knock. And basically you can enable them and then assign the function for it. We, or rather what happens. So if you're on the watch face, you can select uh, what happens when you're on the watch face. And we have next notifications or next tile. Okay, uh, you have a music controller and you can pause or next song and you can basically change the function for each app right here. And, that, and here you have a tutorial how to use this uh, gesture. And you can do it by pressing the or pinching the fingers together. Of course, you need to be wearing your watch because otherwise it won't work. And then we have shake and you can also change some functions for it. And this one, what it does? Um, decline incoming calls, dismiss alerts, and stuff like that. And then we have the knock, which opens the app. Or one of the apps, you can select the app, and how, that's how it looks. You basically do this with your wrist when you're wearing the watch. And that's about all when it comes to button shortcuts and gestures, so we can go back. We can also open the um, advanced features. And here we have a one option I want to show you, which is... Uh, where was it? Here, auto launch media controls. If you enable this option and you start listening to music on your phone that is connected to your watch, it will automatic automatically launch uh, media controls on your watch and you can then use it to control the music on your phone. I find this option quite useful, but if you don't like it, you can always turn it off. And if you like it, I recommend to uh, turn it on. Um, you can also turn on or off the option to show on now bar when uh, media playing is on phone so basically if you're playing the music on your phone 
uh, it will show you on the home screen little bar right here and it will show you that the music is playing and you can tap on that bar to open the media controls if you want to okay uh, last thing i want to show you is to how to enter the um, recent apps menu and how to basically use it so let's say you want to open the recent apps menu you open the menu and then you have this icon right here at the top and you can tap on it and it opens the recent apps and here you have the uh, basically apps that were recently opened and they're not completely closed yet they're like in the memory of the watch and you can simply go back to them by tapping on the um, app you want to go back to and to uh, remove the app because you can remove it you can swipe up and uh, you can also tap on close all to keep them to close them close close all of them rather and you have also the active in the background option and you can uh, see we have the assistant and samsung health uh, can we do something with them? Oh, yeah, we can close them. Okay. So if you're finding your battery life, for example, and uh, draining and stuff like that, you can try to close all of the apps. Or if it watch is a bit unresponsive, you can also try to close them. Um, you can also switch to the apps, like I showed in the previous steps, by pressing the upper button twice or stuff like that. Or if you go to the settings, you can also open the recent app menu by pressing the lower button so if we go to buttons and gestures and find the lower button short press and we have show recent apps and if you press it it will open the recent apps menu instead of going back uh, to um previous screen working as a back button okay uh, and that's about all i believe thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video